Hi guys, and welcome to the first episode of my new series uh, called Developing Detroit. Uh, the aim of the series is pretty much to build up an entire team on map using just um, Detroit Lions players. So we're going to try and get every single Detroit Lion player in the game, in our club, and hopefully, I suppose, win the top division with the team would be the overall goal. But um, yeah, we're starting off here. You know, doing all the all the entry stuff. See if we can get any good players early on. We've got Julio Jones, pretty good, even though he's not a Lions player. But uh, we'll use him for now while we don't actually have any Lions players. But um, sorry if the quality is not that good. The capture card's been mucking up a little bit lately. But uh, towards the end of the video, it starts to pick up again. But yeah, as you can see, we can't actually trade these people. So uh, for now, we're going to use them. But as soon as... I mean, we're going to start with the bronze line players, work our way into the silvers, then to the golds, then to the elites. So once we get a full starting lineup, I'll either quick sell those elite players or just drop them all together. But oh yeah, in all the packs here, we didn't actually manage to get a single line player, which is quite frustrating. Uh, but we have the, you know, the weekly Tom Brady. I mean, there'll be someone else coming out uh, in a few days, I think. So um, hopefully that'll be a Lions player and we can add him to the squad. But uh, for now, this is the lineup we've got to start with. I uh, think there's only one Lions player in there, or maybe none. But um, yeah, there's a checklist coming up of, you know, the exact players we're going to need. So, I mean, if you want to pause the video now to check, uh, these are all the players on Mutt that uh, play for the Lions, or played for the Lions, or have a Lions card, I suppose I should say. So, um... As the episode's gone, we're going to try and get through the whole checklist, uh, starting with the bronze, working our way through to the silver, then to the gold, then to the elite. And yeah, I suppose I will try and win the top division with this team. But uh, if you guys like this concept, I mean, I'll try and get these videos out more often. But um, drop a like on the video, comment that you're enjoying the concept, or um, subscribe, you know, subscribe if you're new. Because I'm going to try and get, I, I put videos out daily, and I'm going to try and get this video, um, this series even, out more more often as well i mean i'm gonna probably make this my main series and then put the draft champion series here and there where i can but um yeah i'm gonna get a few solos or do a few solos just to get a few players into the club to start with um so yeah we'll get a bit of money from these here and there um and yeah i'll see you guys once we've got a little bit of money in the club so I'm just going to roll through a few clips of the coins that I actually got from the solos. I mean, we completed a challenge, um, one of the opening challenges, and got another solo. Just to get a few coins in in the first episode. This is just sort of an introductory episode to the series. And um, yeah, I'm just going to pick up a few of the cheaper bronze cards early on. I mean, there's a few here going pretty cheap, so I'll start with them for now. Uh, so that's Johnson there, unfortunately. Not Calvin, but... Uh, We'll see if he, he can live up to the name. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to go through, pick up, slowly pick up players. I think I'll try and get a few players in each episode. Because, I mean, to start with, players are going to be coming in pretty quick. Because bronze players are cheap and you can just do one game to afford one bronze player. Or maybe even two bronze players. But um, as the series sort of progresses and we get towards the elites and uh, even some of the high-end golds. It's going to sort of take a bit longer to get players in which uh, I, I think gives the sort of gives the series longevity which is is good I mean the, otherwise this series would be over pretty quick because there's not a ton of players I think there's around 100 so uh it could take a little while but yeah this is me doing a few more solos just to get the balance up to start with so we actually have a somewhat decent team to play with in our first games in online but uh yeah as you can see I did I did the majority of the solos uh, I think I did about about half of um, the first category on NFL Journey One, uh, Journey Two, sorry. So yeah, this was mainly just an intro episode to the series to see sort of what the reaction was. If people thought it was a good series or or anything like that. I mean, any feedback more than welcome on this. But uh, this is just me opening a few packs. Um, I don't think I actually get any Lions players in these packs, which is pretty unfortunate. Because, I mean, the odds aren't that low if I open so many packs that I'm not going to get a single Lions player. But I seem to get a lot of free agents in these. But, um, 
yeah, let me know. I mean, we've got another good player there, but we can actually sell these ones. So we're gonna gonna sell them for now because I don't want to get too many sort of higher rated um, p uh, players from other teams into the club. I mean, I just want sort of the bare minimum that I need to help me get the actual Lions team for now. But um, yeah, like I said earlier, you guys let me know sort of your opinion on the series. Things I could improve maybe because uh, at the moment all it's going to be is me playing through games, um, solo games, season games, trying to get the overall best Lions team. And I mean it's not going to be easy because there's some really, really expensive players like uh, I don't know if... I don't know if we'll be able to make it out to Boss Calvin at some point. I mean, he's he's keeping his price tag of four million at the moment, so it's definitely not going to be easy. But uh, that is the ultimate goal. So um, that could potentially make the series last quite a while. But I think it's going to be quite fast to start with. We're picking up quite a lot of players each episode, which I think will be it be enjoyable to watch for you lot, and enjoyable for me to make to be honest, because I think it it might hopefully make me find some hidden gems in the game that. I potentially had overlooked like uh, I know one player I definitely want to pick up is Darius Slay because even though he's, he's, he's only at 82 overall but he plays so well and so um yeah I'm hoping I'll potentially find a few more hidden gems like that uh, but uh if you guys sort of fancy me doing this with another team maybe a lot of you support a, a certain other team I could do it with that team and, and see where we go from there but um, yeah, I think at the end of each episode as well, I'm going to sort of include a checklist as to what players um, we've picked up in the episode, and that'll be coming up coming up now. But uh, yeah, the players we picked up, the players we still got left, just so you can see what's going on. But um, yeah, guys, if you enjoy the content, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the second part of developing Detroit.